Hey guys, Drop Top and Bear Bait here, and we are going to show you a video of three different ways to hang a bear bag. Yep, so we've got our bear line, and we've got our rock bag, and we'll go find a rock really quick and be right back. Okay, so we've got our rock and our line ready to go, and two important things to remember is hold on to the loose end of your bear line. You don't want to just throw the whole thing over the tree and lose all of it up there. Second thing is take a few steps back from the tree whenever you're throwing it. That's one of the first mistakes everybody makes is they want to get as close as they can. And so you're going to go ahead and step back. And the tree's a good distance away now, but it's a, a nice arc that we can throw at instead of straight up and the rock's going to come straight back down whenever we miss. So we've laid the line down on the ground and we're ready to throw. So attempt number one, I'm just going to aim right up into the middle of the clear section. There's a bunch of small branches up there that we're going to try to miss. Okay, and here we go. And it seems to have made it over, and it's not tangled too badly. Next thing is, we're going to go and retrieve it without letting go of the loose end. Now we've got our rock bag untied from our line that is up in the tree. It's a black line on the tree, so it's hard to see. But now we're going to do method number one. So we're just going to take this bag and stick it in our pocket because we don't need it anymore. And this guy has a little carabiner and it just clips onto the loop. And all we got to do is go ahead and pull it up in the tree. Now, you want to go about 10 to 12 feet up and be at least 5 to 6 feet away from the trunk of the tree and from the top limb so that the bear can't reach over and climb up and get it. And then we're going to walk this over making sure we don't walk around our hanging line and we're just going to wrap it around some sort of like smaller tree or here we have a fallen log that weighs more than our bear bag does. So we're going to come around and we have a lot of extra slack so you just kind of fold it in half as you're going and the more times you wrap this the easier it is like I don't have to hold it fairly at all now and like it'll still slide but there's very little tension holding. So that means whenever we tie this knot, it doesn't have to be very hardcore. We can just go around with our loop and double it over once more and go up through the loop that we made and do a quick release half hitch. So the next morning, all we have to do is pull this one string and it comes untied. Very easy to do even before your morning coffee. Another thing you can do to make this more secure, some people are afraid of like a bear figuring out how to untie a knot like that, is you just take a little twig and this second loop that you made that you're going to pull out in the morning is pull your working end and pull that tight. No matter how hard a bear pulls on that, it's not going to come undone. But in the morning you just pull that stick out and you're good to go. It's nice to have thumbs sometimes. So, that's method number one, all done, nice and easy. For this method, I found a nice trusty little stick that I'm going to tie the clove hitch onto to keep the bear bag up in the tree. So the first step is to clip the other side of the line into the small carabiner and then hoist it up into the tree as high as you can. After you do that, you're going to tie a clove hitch or the PQ knot, put the two ends over each other just like that, and stick the stick in those two loops, and there's your clove hitch. After that, you're going to let the line back up so the stick catches the carabiner. And that's where your bear bag will hang all night long. And the bear's not gonna get your bear bag by pulling that string.
One of the other advantages of the PCT hang is if you have a small ditty bag, you can go ahead and hang that separately from your food bag without having to take the whole thing down. And bring your toggle back down and just clip it on right at the toggle stick and raise that back up into the tree. And now, if that was something that you needed to get to first thing in the morning or in the middle of the night, but you still didn't want bears or animals to get to it, all you have to do is give it a tug and it'll come right on down. And you can unclip it and your food's ready to go. Once you want to leave the next morning, all you do is pull this down, grab above the toggle, and loosen up your clove hitch. Now if you have an amazingly good toggle, you can throw it in your pack and save it for the next time. Or you can LNT it and just leave it on the ground and leave it to biodegrade. And you just lower your food bag down in a controlled fashion. Unclip it from your line and you're ready to go. That's the PCT hang. Okay, and the last method that we're going to do is the counterbalance method. This one is assuming that you have a buddy with you who also has a food bag with them. We have two food bags. They're both about the same weight. One's a little bit heavier than the other, but as long as they're close, that's all that matters. What we're going to do is we're going to take our first food bag and clip that on to our carabiner and our loop. And we're going to go ahead and pull it up all the way up into the tree. And then we're going to do a nice little pitch. So for that, we're just going to make an overhand and then grab the line above it and pull down through. And that's just going to make a self-tightening loop that we're going to clip our second carabiner into, like so. And whenever we let go of the knot, it's going to pull down tight on there. But it's going to hold it secure. And now, see how nothing's moving? That's exactly what we want. We just take it and pop it up like a volleyball. And now, just pull them even. And there our bare eggs are. And in the morning, all we have to do is pull down on this one. Grab the top unhook our carabiner from that loop and whenever we pull on this loop it's just gonna pull out tight magic and invisible so to recap we go overhand loop grab the high end and pull that loop through that makes a loop that self tightens and then to undo it we just pull it and we bring our buddy's bear bag down, take it to their tent, and they're going to be super happy with us in the morning. This has been Drop Top. And Bear Bait, and we hope you enjoyed our video on three different methods to hang a bear bag. Thanks for watching. Happy hiking. Yeet. <laughs> I didn't put the carabiner into the bear bag. Oh, <laughs> cut. Oh, my God. Wait. And PCT. No, see? Mm. We hope you enjoyed our <laughs> video. We hope you enjoyed our video. Oh my god. Can we do it again? <laughs>